Hey everyone, as you hear from Pandemonium, we are getting ready to leave. A cold snap has hit us and it's gonna be cold for a while and we are in that area. So we want to get to warmer weather and we think we're gonna go ahead and book it to Florida. I was wanting to get to Florida by January, but we didn't know we were gonna like all the camping that we were doing and stay so long. But it's been wonderful. I'm definitely not complaining. It's It's been awesome. I'm glad we got to experience the Texas coast in the winter. But yes, we do wanna get on to warmer weather, which means we've got to go to Florida, which is probably about 800 miles. So it's, it's no short feat. We're gonna have to do some traveling. Right, Mumu, some traveling, traveling. Okay, ready? All right, we're getting out of here. I can't find my camera. Oh, oops. Okay. Check in your car. You were um, holding it. I'm glad to be getting on the road and putting all this mechanical issues behind me. And, oh, let me not jinx myself. Knock on wood that there are no more. Okay, we're going out this way. Dave's gonna lead. Gotta head over to Wally World. We're gonna fill up. Oops. Take the next right onto Hobbs Road, then turn right, right onto West Main Street. Yeah, your brake lights are working. We just reached Kama, population 1773. We are heading towards the coast again, and we're gonna ride along the coast until we hit 10, after I gas up. But that's right there at the coast, the Walmart with the gas station. All right, gas here is 2.49, 10 cents cheaper than where we were. Did I wake you from your slumber? You look barely awake. <laughs> I was a little over a quarter of a tank. It was two forty nine, like I said, and eighty dollars to fill up. Okay, I guess we're off, huh? Yeah. Like I said, we'll be skirting the coast until we hit ten. Continue straight to stay on Farm to Market Road five eighteen east. Then use any lane to turn left onto North Highway one forty six north. Yeah, I don't think that's possible. Splits here. Some construction here. In 800 feet, continue straight to stay on North Highway 146 North. Okay, looks like they're adding in a interstate. Nice. There's definitely been a lot of continue construction. Continue to stay on North Highway 146 North. So Dave said our destination, and we have two hours and ten minutes. It's 133 miles to our next destination. And the area that we're at, I think, is going to be in the teens in about two days. So we're trying to get away from that pretty cold weather. Although, it is at night. And I think the daytime temperatures aren't supposed to be that high either. Maybe in the 40s. It's just a cold snap that's coming. I don't even know if it's really a snap. It's, it's actually a, a weather front, so it can be here for a while. Getting on 146. We'll take this until we reach 10. Thanks for an interesting bridge. That's awesome. These are humongous. cables holding up this bridge. It's actually a very beautiful day right, today. Use the right two lanes to take the Texas 146 business exit toward Waterfront District. All right.
right, will do. Welcome to Baytown. We are now on 99 North. There is a toll, it says. Toll road begins a half a mile. Last free exit. So we're taking the toll road? Uh, I guess so. Goose Lake. Guess it's better than driving all the way around because I think we would have went north and then it possibly was over 50 miles or it could have been 100 miles more that way. Usually when they have a toll road, it's a shortcut, so. It was automated. The last time I went through an automated one was in San Francisco and I didn't get the bill and it was $90 because it was late and I never received anything, so I was unfortunate. Hopefully, that doesn't happen again. But I know I went through a toll, so I'll make sure to check it. But Dave said we should get an email. I don't know how those things work. So we went through another toll checkpoint, but Dave said they were probably just rechecking. Okay, well, this is a third station, toll station we've been through. Right. I think uh, Google Maps and the total total tolls for like a car were like three dollars and something. So we have more axles. So simple fly only be three bucks. I mean, that's because the Google Maps added them up, and uh, we'll still get probably pay double that. Right, so it's probably like six, ten dollars, something like that. That's just weird. But I mean, each spot is not that much. It's like sixty-five cents per axle, and the last one was two nineteen per axle. So hopefully, that's it. I mean, I, that could add up really quickly. And here's another one, but it's on that side road, or the entrance, that said 69 cents per axle. But then again, that's probably why this road is so nice. Keep right at the fork to continue on Grand Parkway. Alright, we are getting off the toll road, so obviously there is probably more tolls if you follow that road. Continue on Grand Parkway for three quarters of a mile. I think we've made it to I-10. the I-10 East exit, then awesome. right down to East Freeway Service Road. Houston straight ahead and Beaumont to the east. That's the way we're going to be going. Merge East Freeway oh. Service Road, I-10 Service Road, then take the I-10 East ramp on the left. So I think that road is closed off, so you have to take the toll road to Houston. Creep in here. Yay, traffic. Let's see. I think we have to get over. Take the I-10 East ramp on the left. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, finally, we are on I-10. Yay! Oh God, look at the traffic over there. Yikes! That's heading towards Houston. That's ridiculous. Ouchie, I'm glad I'm not over there. I'm pretty much over the whole traffic. <laughs> After that last bout of traffic that we had to go through. So we should put on some good miles now that we're on I-10 and heading east. I actually haven't been on I-10 heading east since... Ugh. I went back home to South Carolina with Terry and Scott. That's the last time. Wow. And that was several years ago. That was before the property. Huh. 
It's about four years, I would say. We're crossing over the old and lost river. Um, kind of big to be lost. I can plainly see it. There's the other side. Seems like it turns into marshland. Winnie is 24 miles and Beaumont is 49. We were gonna go to Winnie. It was supposed to be our next destination. But like I said, since we're trying to get miles on, we want to get a little further. Right, sleepyhead? A little further. She is out. We're going to make a quick stop at the rest area. We're 15 miles from Winnie and 39 miles from Beaumont. So this is the Chamber County Safety Rest Area. Texas Department of Transportation. Let's see, Continue Sleepyhead is up and about. Need to go out and stretch your paws. Maybe take a pee-pee. These are some big ass faces. Yeah, they are. Hey, you put your sides up here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they definitely give you a lot of room here. More so than other places I've seen. Well, this is an interesting rest area. Looks like they've built up the platforms because they get a lot of water in here. Oh, huh. Wait. How do you get over? I guess you can go down. There's stairs here. And there's a... Oh, there's a, a deck out that way. Let's see if we can find that. Oh, I see Jeff and Kellogg. Oh, right there. Okay. Turn around, turn around. You smell the canna lilies? Look at the beautiful roses. Little no, thing. Bella, it's not pet smart. Yeah, yeah, get, get up <laughs> but they have a monument here with some other stuff, but I'm not going to go in there since I've been in some restrooms and vending machines. Oh, wait. This part right here looks very familiar. This is the alligator part. The alligator part? Well, no, I think I've been here with Terry and Scott. Well, no, it looked like this because we walked around the back a half when we came to um, Myrtle Beach last uh, four years ago. So, yeah, it, 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 uh, but I think it's different. Yeah, it just looks around goes off kind of where we came in at. Right. I don't see enough water for alligators. It's a nice boardwalk though. Okay, you say you're not good with plants, but everybody can get what that is right there. Red berries. Holly? Yep, good job. Watch for snakes. Oh, and also watch for poison ivy. Remember, I was like, this is poison ivy. It's got the thumb. What variety is that? The plastic? Oh, yeah, the, that's, that's a... That's, that's a plastic variety. Yeah, that's very rare, the plastic <laughs> yeah, rose. It is. That's usually funny, they someone stuck dumpsters. that in there. They, they usually only grow around dumpsters. And right, stuff. exactly. Or cemeteries. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool, they have some of the native flora here. Foundation of food chain. So there's the passion flower vine. Wild onions, that's awesome. I always wanted to grow wild onions. There's the bald cypress, which is the ones that grow in the swamp land. And then there's the Turk's cap. Oh, those are beautiful. Here's some information on the wild onion if you want to pause and read. And some on the bald cypress. Some on the passion flower vine. Waiting patiently, Moo Moo. Look at here. There is a riding spider there. I haven't seen one of those since I was back in South Carolina. They say you're not supposed to say anybody's name around them because it's bad luck if they write their name in their web. But obviously that's just an old wives tale. Okay, the boardwalk goes on this way too. Let's go see what's over here. Have a big area here. Kind of looks like a putt-putt thing. Not sure what that's for. Flitters and spinners, bird watchers bait. So there's the butterfly, the monarch, mosquito, yuck. 
and then the blue dasher dragonfly and then the oh what they call it a banana spider i thought it was the riding spider but here it says banana spider here's some information if you want to pause and read I'm sure you can find out the information on these online as well curious critters so they have the green tree frog the nine banded armadillo pretty cool and the copperhead venomous and the texas coral snake here's some information about the texas coral snake if you want to pause and read saying that their venom is not pressurized have you seen all the tires on the side of the road that must be a telltale sign that your road sucks they're just litters and litters yeah, of tires. A couple of those cars back there look like they were wounded to wipe up the road condition. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, there were some cars broke down back there. Those That road back there was pretty bad. And yeah, the side of the road was just littered with... It wasn't just a couple tires. It was several tires that were just... And they weren't that far from each other. Like, people lose tires here constantly. I don't know why my GPS is telling me to get off here. We still have 60 miles. Take exit 833. Oh, it's the construction. Never mind. Welcome to Louisiana. Thank you. Wow, the traffic going into Texas is long. Yay! made it to Louisiana. Awesome. One more state out of the way. Bye, Texas. There is a rest area coming up. I doubt we'll stop there, though, because we only have 23 miles until our destination, so not really a point. We made it to our exit, which is 108 off of I-10 East. Take the next right onto Teal Road, then turn right onto Pintail Street. Okie dokie. Not sure if we're going to stay here or just take a break. We might continue on if we want to travel more. But for now, we're going to... Turn right onto Pintail Street, then go ahead turn and left. Stop here at Cracker Barrel. Turn left, then turn left. Got you. Thank you, Charlie. Someone's awake. Hey, sleepyhead. Go outside, huh? Don't fall back asleep. It's almost sunset. My tire hasn't fallen off, which is a good thing. And I think everybody is ready to get back on the road. We're gonna do a little more driving. Oh, I'm still. I took a nap. I'm still groggy. <laughs> Take the next left onto Teal Road, then turn left onto Louisiana 108. <laughs> Turn left onto Louisiana 108, then slide right onto the I-10 East ramp. So I've definitely done night driving before, especially when I was in Panda, because it used to have overheating issues during the day. So I just like to drive at night. I could drive for hours at night, but during the daytime, not so much. But still, I do enjoy driving at night. It's just, it's very peaceful. You don't get bothered by the scenery. So it's just drive, drive, drive. You can turn on music, it's very peaceful, and you just go, because you don't get distracted. There's no distraction for you. You're just always sleeping. Are you awake for the ride now, huh? It's only 40 miles, so not that bad. Ugh, and it is getting chilly. At least the sun is on our backs. That way, you're not blinded. Because I usually hate driving during this time, right around sunset. It can be a bit blinding. But luckily, we're going east and not west. These areas around here have steep bridges. I mean, it's definitely not as grand as the last one or tall. But still very steep. What a beautiful shot of the river. 
Just lovely. Yeah, that was a steep bridge. All right, we made it to our next destination. Take exit 64, then keep right at the fort. That was not bad at all. Whoa, what's going on here? Gas here is 276 for regular and 359 for diesel. Wow, that's kind of expensive. That's like 20, or actually 30 cents more than where I paid for it last time. Hmm. Maybe it's just that specific gas station. No? Exxon up there is 288. Ooh. What am I saying? Ooh. <laughs> I came from a place where it was $4. See anything interesting out there besides the beautiful sky? That's one of them clearance things. Oh. Take a different entrance. Well, it says 12 foot, so we can fit. It said 12 four, so we could have fit. I couldn't. I couldn't read it. I think it's basically for the semis to prevent them from coming in that entrance. Oh, there's another one here. We sh you should fit. Take a talk. Go ahead. I'm going to go down to this, uh, the truck one and then come back around through. Okay, well, um, there's a... Yeah, I, I will too, but I think we're we're under 12 foot, definitely, but I'll follow you. About 11. I can. I was about 11. There's another entrance right here. Uh, yeah, I say we called ahead and they allow overnight parking, so... It is late morning and I think everybody is ready to get back on the road. Actually, it wasn't too bad here last night. No loud noises, screeching tires, or loud music, so we were good. Or late running trucks. That truck actually just pulled in. All right, let's get on the road. Of course, Moomoo's ready. <laughs> in her normal position. Sleep. You just got up. Lazy, ate breakfast, and now you're going back to bed. I've watched her go under. I'm 10'3", and I know that at 12 feet, she has a good foot clearance. All right, we're going under the marker thing here. Okay, Turn we're cleared. left onto West Interstate Drive. You said I had two feet? Top of your air conditioner looks good. In 1,000 feet, you know, turn right onto Elton Road. Probably closer to two feet than one foot. Good to know. I know, I, I think I'm, I'm under 11. I thought I was like 10 something. I know I'm like 10 foot 2 inches. So we're going to be heading to fill up, which is the gas station. I think it's a pilot. It's 25 cents cheaper right than on anything Elton around. Road, then slide right onto the I 10 East ramp. Okay, thank you, Charlie. At about 46 miles. And I am at a half a tank. So it should be good. Alright, we made it to our gas fill up exit. There's the pilot the ahead. Line, keep right at the fort. Follow signs for Louisiana 328 South, Pearl Bridge. Alright. Oh, it's a casino too. Keep right at the fort. Fancy. Doesn't look like a big casino at all. Merge onto Louisiana 328 South, Reese Street, then turn left at the Gator Road. Take the next left at the Gator Road, then turn left. Thank you, Charlie. So, gas here. For regular is 243, diesel 377. I just went inside and asked for the professional driver card for our pilot and also works at Flying J. 
and it saves you five cents at the gas station and also it um, makes the dump station only three dollars and dave was the one that actually told me about this so that's awesome this fill up was 7301 so not as much as last time at with the five cents off it was 238 all right moving on there is a rest area about 15 miles up the road so we're going to stop there let the dogs out for a little bit and then continue on Turn left toward Reese Street, then turn right. Turn right toward Reese Street, then turn right onto Reese Street. Reese Street. Yes, there's a lot of swampland here. I think there's some gators out there. Yeah, definitely. Looks very swampy. Ooh. I know, I know. Got it creepy. It's called Henderson Swamp. All right, here's the exit with the rest area. In half a mile, turn left onto Louisiana 3177 North. The Atchafalaya Welcome Center. That's a mouthful. So it's Atchafalaya or Atchafalaya? I don't know. Um, I think that part of that is by the first B-H is something there is silence. I don't remember what. Well, I'm sure someone will correct like an H in the comments. So, Acha for Halea? <laughs> yeah, that's it. You, you nailed it. <laughs> like I said, it sounds like something you do to a fish. Google would pronounce it better. Well, lay a fish. Alright. So the dog's out and then we'll continue on. Stretch our legs. See what's here. I take it you're ready to stretch your legs? Yes? Uh-huh. Kellogg too. Pee breaks for all the doggies. We're just gonna stay here a few minutes. I was thinking there was gonna be swampland here. I know, I, I think it's Mississippi. Yeah, it's over there, but there's a rest area that actually is connected to like swampland. It has a boardwalk that goes back there, but I don't think this is the one, because across the street there. I thought it was that last rest area we was at with all the boardwalks. No, I think there's another one. It actually goes back into the like swampland back okay. there, and then there's an overlook, and then you can just look out, and I think there's alligators. We're gonna try to get to Mississippi today. So, it's definitely been a couple days of long travel, but like I said, we're trying to get some miles behind us so we can get into Florida. That'll be awesome. I don't know if we'll make it this video, but close enough, I guess. Oh, that's a big one, big horn. Oops. I got to lock my bathroom door. In a quarter mile, merge onto I-10 East. A lot of trees in the swampy area. Must be deciduous, lost all their leaves for the winter. So it seems like they've built this bridge not only over swampland, but it follows a river, which is unusual. We have 129 miles to go before we reach Mississippi. Ooh, oh, look at that, barge. This is Whiskey Bay. Cool. Definitely feels like we're following a river. Or it might just be marshland. But it's a lot of water. Oh, cool, and they have a boat ramp in the middle there. <laughs> Must be a subscriber of the... Or either they just liked my rig, they honked. Piggyback riding. Call Terry and Scott. Sure, calling Terry and Scott. Hello. Hello. Hi, what you doing? Driving. Oh. <laughs> what are you driving to? Uh, we're in Louisiana, around Baton Rouge. We're, um, but we're gonna, cause it's gonna be getting colder, so we're headed to Mississippi. Oh, yeah. We're, I think we're going to stop in and see Craig and have 
um, lunch or dinner, whatever, whenever we oh, get there. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. So what's yeah, up? The, we the weather is crazy, isn't it? Yeah. So I, we've been skirting it, luckily. Um, yeah. We've been just missing the cold. That's why we've been traveling so much. So how's it okay. there? Um, it's okay. It's, um, a couple of days it was kind of windy. We're in Havasu. Oh, okay. So you left Q? Huh? You left Q? Yeah, because it's our anniversary today. So oh, happy anniversary! And, uh, 40 years, Oz. I know, you <laughs> old bitches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna, we like to go to that little restaurant, Chagrin's, that's from, uh, on the bridge. That's but, awesome. Yeah. And we were out, we were all out, like, last night we went to buses by the bridge and then we went uh went into town and went to a little restaurant and had some cocktails and then walked along the waterfront and nice just had, yeah well, a little I, talk. we didn't we didn't stay out late i mean we were in by you know we were back home by nine but i'm just a little tired today now how are you <laughs> Yeah, because we walked, uh, we left here at 1 o'clock and we walked, you know, it's like we walked all day from like 1 to, you know, oh, wow. 9 o'clock, so. Yeah. It was just a long day. Yeah, I'm sure. But, yeah, so we got Dory and Jenner here with us and then uh, Ma um, Mary and Steve showed up. So oh, nice. Gonna go. Yeah, so they yeah. were going to go to dinner with us. I saw they were in um, Arizona. I saw one of her posts. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. And then we, have, we had a couple boys that showed up that we had met um, at LTBA uh, at, the beginning, then it, at the beginning of us being in the queue. So they came and hung out with us yesterday, Troy and uh, David. Oh, so, cool. Super fun. Nice. Yeah. So what, what are you, uh, are you guys heading to Florida? Yeah, we should be in Florida in a day or two. Okay. That's We're just fun. Well, we took so long at the coast, we were just enjoying it, you know, it's like we would stay here two weeks, then here two weeks, then here two weeks, and it just, it added up, so we're yeah. just, we're like, okay, it's already mid-January, we need to get to Florida if we're going to go. <laughs> no, but the weather was so bad there, I mean, they've had such bad storms. Oh, in Florida? I saw that. Yeah. Yeah, but yeah. I think it's supposed to clear up, so hopefully, we'll see. Yeah, I know. We're going to head, we're going to just slowly work our way back to, um, towards our area, you know. Oh, uh, in, uh, I don't know. In Washington, uh, you mean? Yeah, we're going to slowly work our way. Oh, okay. It's going to take us all, all winter to get there. Well, you, know, you don't want to rush because it's probably no, still March, very cold. Yeah, by March we'll be able to kind of cruise a little faster, well, but. that's cool. Yeah. Well, I'm glad y'all are getting yeah. back on the road. I'm sure it's just the same old, same old in the queue. Yeah, we actually had a lot of fun in the queue. Yeah, it seems yeah. like there was a lot going on. Yeah, you know, there's not as, I don't think there's as many people, but we had a, I don't know, we just had a lot of fun. We've done a lot of bike riding and right. we've done a lot of exploring. More than we ever did in the queue before. Well, that's good. We had, yeah, we had a lot of fun there. Yeah, my first so, couple years in the queue, we that's all we did, you remember, because we had side-by-sides, so we explored. Yeah. I don't know, I feel like I've seen a lot there. Yeah. It's a nice change and of pace. Had, yeah, and then we had a nice uh, New Year's Eve party, so that was fun, you know. Yeah, so... And definitely more than we thought would, you know, show up, so it was kind of fun. And then the guy behind us had fireworks that were, like, normal, like, huge fireworks. Yeah. Just <laughs> I so saw funny. it on your video. I know, it was like our own private show. <laughs> I know, it, it, I was surprised at all the fireworks on the beach. It was crazy. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, you guys were, I saw that. Yeah, I was like, holy moly, it's just crazy, so, but. Yeah, I know, but it, it's fun. I like watching them, but I don't like lighting them off myself. All right, so I don't know how much well. time when I get back I'm going to spend in Arizona, because I actually have the, um, uh, or actually, uh, the girls have been rehomed. Cause, oh, they have? Yeah. Um, soon Ed just, you know, Ed has his business that he's starting and stuff. So, and I get it. They just didn't have time. But, you know, it was all a test run anyways. And 
um, I put an ad out for the girls and someone the next day was like, well, I'll come pick them up the next day. And so, yeah. and um, Sue said they seemed like really nice people. And she bluntly asked them if uh, they were going to eat the girls. And they were like, no, they're specifically for eggs. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, so, good. yeah, so now that I don't have the girls, I, I don't feel as stressed to be back home. So yeah. I'm probably, I mean, I might go to the property just to check on a few things, get some, because there's a few things I need to get done, like the cameras aren't working well. And then I think I'm going to get back on the road. Are you? Yeah, so oh. I might, so I might see y'all up in um, Washington. This okay, summer. Well, we're gonna in July though. We're gonna be um, we're gonna be on a big adventure. <laughs> a big adventure. Yeah. In Washington. I can't talk. I can't talk about it. Oh, okay. I guess yeah. I'll I'll have to it'll wait till your video comes out. <laughs> it'll be the whole month of July. Oh, nice. Yeah. So I'll tell, you, I'll tell you about it later. <laughs> right. Well, I mean, I'm, I was thinking also to go to Colorado for July, so oh, I yeah. might meet well, y'all after you that. Go. You, you go hang out in Colorado. I'll see you later. Yeah, <laughs> I know. much I love that place. Oh, I know. It's the high <laughs> elevation. It just doesn't bother me like it bothers you. Yeah, I just can't acclimate to it. It sucks. Yeah. I would probably be okay for a couple days and then that's it. I just can't do it. Either. Right. So after y'all are done with your adventure, then I could probably meet up with y'all or something. Oh, yeah. 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 Or you could always uh, meet us where we're going. Oh. I'll tell you about it later. I'll tell you about it when we get it more planned. Okay. <laughs> All right. You might want to. <laughs> <laughs> you might find it very interesting. Okay. I guarantee you've never done it before. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> okay, I'll end the video here. Hold on. Okay, bye y'all. Okay. That was awesome catching up with Terry and Scott. If you want to know what the secret is, I guess you'll have to keep an eye out on their channel to see what it is. And happy anniversary, y'all. Well, you definitely can tell it's much greener in this area until we're getting further east. It's awesome though. A little green is always good. We're getting off 12 now. We took that to go around Baton Rouge and New Orleans. It's much faster. Don't have to go through the big cities. So we're getting back on I-10 now. And we have about nine miles left. Welcome to Mississippi. Yay, we made it. So the welcome center should be up here. I think about a mile and a half. Oh, look at that big old starship or spaceship. <laughs> Infinity. Take the next right. Well, that's cool. The Mississippi Welcome Center is here by the Infinity Science Center, NASA. Continue for half a mile. No solicitation, no overnight parking. Huh. There's the Infinity Science Center. Well, you can't really see it. Okay. In 600 feet, you will arrive at your destination. Thank you, Charlie. I didn't have my radio on, and Jeff just told me there's a different sector for the RVs. Over here by the dump station. I don't need the dump station. Uh, that's the dump station there, so I don't need that. Go around this way. I think I remember this. This is where David stayed before. Okay, I see him up there. Well, this is nice. No parking on grass. All right, man. Well, now you can come search your pasta. That's right. 
Good girl. All right, hold on. Go to the grass. Go. Go. What you doing, Bella? Oh, huh? That was a long drive. Hey, Bella. <laughs> Do you like all this vegetation that we have here? Huh? All the fallen leaves and pine cones everywhere. Do you like to chew on pine cones? Huh? <laughs> the sign is a bit confusing. It says no overnighting, but they mean for that area over there. Over here, I, a local said that you can camp here and it's just they don't want you parking on the grass just in the designated areas the pull-offs it's a beautiful spot but we're not staying here go, mama, go. <laughs> yeah i actually love this spot it's awesome and they allow you to camp here all right we're ready to get on the road we're gonna meet a friend for early dinner that's right girl good job mama good job the restaurant is about 15 miles from here and we're going to be getting on, what is this, 607 South? Young Long's Buffet. They go up for evening time. Oh, Ooh, buffet. Look at all the food. And more food. So I think I'll do two plates and maybe some dessert. This is my first plate. Yeah, I'm already counting. You only need one plate. You pile it so dang full. That's pile so hot. That's a masterpiece. A <laughs> masterpiece. It is. Well done. I've heard of peanut sauce, but they have peanut butter chicken. That's weird. I don't think I would like that. Okay, second plate, honey chicken, fried rice, some cucumbers, um, and sushi, and crab ragu. Oh, they got some kind of gooey graham cracker dessert. That looks really good. They're just missing the chocolate. It'd be like s'mores. I don't wait food. If I put it on this plate, it's gonna get eat. <laughs> well, look at their dessert. They didn't have a big selection, so that's a little disappointing, but I got my favorite is the ice cream. Usually that's ice milk. It does actually look like ice cream and soft serve with their sweet bun. Mm. The little and cream then I, puff looks good. Yeah, the cream puff looks good. And I got the um, the graham cracker marshmallow and I put um, chocolate pudding on it. Oh. So. so you made your own dessert. Huh? I did. <laughs> Look at you, copycat. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so what is that marshmallow and graham cracker? Yeah. The, the chocolate pudding seemed like a nice touch that you did, so I yeah, I'm going to yeah. go with that too. They didn't have any sprinkles? Oh no, but they did. If you get, if they have that sugar bun. I usually break it up and throw it on top of that. It's like, a, it makes like a crust. It's awesome. Oh, they had cheesecake? Is that cheesecake? Yeah, it is cheesecake. Oh, it is cheesecake? Uh -huh. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Oh good. Dang it. Fail, fail. I didn't see the cheesecake. We just said our buys and thank you. He bought us dinner. That was awful nice of him. So we're gonna get on the road because it's about time for the sun to set. And we're gonna go stay at a Walmart tonight. I think it's about um, 15 or 20 miles up the road. Who's a good girl? Did you enjoy your dinner? Gave her a treat before we went inside. Yes. Wow, you can really tell when the sun goes down, it gets chilly. St. Louis Bay. Pretty time of day. The other side of the bay. Oh wow, look at all those huge homes there on the shoreline. Nice. They have their own docks and everything. I'm not sure if they have a theme here, but all the houses seem to be white. Past Christian. Oh, I've been through here before. Yeah, more than once, I believe. Nice white sandy beach. Not busy at all. That's what I said about the beaches in Louisiana. So pretty. 
the beautiful large southern homes on the left hand side. Every floor has a bunch of signage, uh, you know, no bottles, no dogs, no this, no that, so, yeah. Oh, I was right, yeah, so no pets. Yeah, look at that, isn't that awesome? Little harbor with all the boats. We are here. I stayed here with Terry and Scott about, what was it, almost four years ago when we were headed back to Myrtle Beach. Gas here is $2.53 and diesel is $3.27. The sun is set. I am stuffed from dinner. Thank you, Craig, once again, if you're watching. And I think I'm just going to relax the rest of the night. Hopefully, we'll see you in the next video and you can see where we end up. Hopefully, it'll be Florida, but we'll see. You never know with this lifestyle. Right, Mumu? But I do want to make it to Florida, hopefully, in the next day or two. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be over here. Or if you want to subscribe or check out Patreon, That'll be right over there. We'll see you next time. Bye for now. Love you guys out there. Mwah.